Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before I knew What is going on, guys? I can here with another video for you today. Today we're gonna be playing some more of the Half Past Fate series. Now, the last episode literally threw me for a fucking loop. I did not know that was gonna happen. I did not know what to expect. And today we're gonna be going into chapter eight. So pretty close to being done. <laughs> pretty close to being done. And I'm enjoying every. I'm enjoying it every step of the way. It, it, it's it's amazing. It's awesome. I love it. If you guys don't know, I also stream on Twitch. I stream some Splatoon, some Final Fantasy, some Animal Crossing, some Stardew Valley, whatever I'm feeling like that day, you know. You know, I'll be getting into other games as well. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified every time that I do post a video. And uh, yeah, go follow me on Twitch. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, two years ago. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, let me just raise the volume of the game a little bit. I noticed for the last video it was a little bit low. All right, there we go. That should be good. I'm so pumped for this party. I haven't seen the film gang in a while and I finally get to meet Milo. How do I look? No one cares how you look, silly. But you look great. No need to worry. <laughs> I just want to make a good first impression. So Milo was part of the film school gang with you, Taylor, Lars, and Jody? Yeah, but he and his fiance moved away after graduation, so he kind of split off from the rest of us. Will his fiance be at the party? I'm not sure. He hasn't talked about her recently. I assume she must have moved here with him? I am a little behind. I haven't talked to Milo since our last letter a few weeks ago. I only heard he was moving back because Jody told me. She said it was really sudden. Well, he must have been excited to see you guys again. Come on, let's get in here. They might have broken up, dude. Did they break up? D does she have a chance? Sorry, that's a weird. That's that's weird. <laughs> Just immediately like, oh, does she have a chance now that they broke up? Uh, it's a really bad thought, but I mean, does she? After you. For sure. Well, I mean, hmm, that, that that poses a weird question because who would who's this Matt guy? You know, like like is Matt her boyfriend? And if she is, like, it's it's a bit weird, isn't it? Hello, we're here for the party. Hi, hey B, welcome Matt. Nice to see you again. Thanks for having us over. You're always welcome here. Have you met Milo yet? Hey Milo, be a and her boyfriend are here. Yep. God damn it. As soon as I'm, I'm guessing here, this is my guess that Milo and his fiance split up, and so that's why he moved back. But now Bia has a boyfriend, so it's even more in the way right now. Fuck. Milo, it's been so long. Yeah, leathers are one thing, but it's great to see you in person again, Bia. Uh, it's great to see you too. This is my boyfriend, Matt. Hey, nice to meet you, Matt. I've heard a lot about you. All good things, I hope. <laughs> well, don't just stand in the doorway. Come on in. There's food in the backyard. Oh, sick. I'm never one to pass up free food. <laughs> I'll see you outside. Make yourself at home, Bia. For sure. So, how you been? Especially now that... You're Mr. Big Shot with your film. Congrats. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought my little hobby project would have get would get picked up by someone? You know. Give yourself more credit than that. You're all, you are what you eat is an amazing piece of art and definitely not some hobby project. You deserve every ounce of fame that you're getting. More like every ounce of stress. <laughs> so how's Stacy? Oh, uh, she's she's all right. It's. You know how these things are. Yeah, I know. With the wedding constantly getting pushed back and all. Sometimes relationships can be like a second job. That's not... Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer. You should enjoy the party. Milo, I haven't seen you in forever. You're the one who's supposed to enjoy this party. It's your welcome back party. Your moving in party. Wait. I have an idea. What? Remember senior year of college when we all posed for that photo before you moved away? Yeah, the one outside the electricity. 
Those were good days. <laughs> My man's is just looking at her like, yep, yep. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Let's get everyone posing for another one to commemorate the gang getting back together. Ah, jeez, I don't know if I really want to. You said you didn't want to be a Debbie down there. You sit tight, I'll get everyone outside for the picture. Well, you do know how to get people moving. Yeah, I, I'm glad you came. Milo sure looks down. I wonder what's eating at him. Let me talk to him. Still being mopey mope. You got me. Chat about the documentary. How's life been after becoming famous? Uh, please don't say that. <laughs> Frankly, I'm pretty much terrified all the time. I, I always need to put on this face like I'm advertising my film or something. The worst is reading messages from people online, either social media or emails. At first, I read, I read every single message, replying to all of them with a thankful attitude. But after a while, I just... It wears on you. Oh, Milo. I'm so sorry to hear that. You should be proud, though. We're also proud of you. And I've personally never seen anything negative online about the film. You're probably not just looking hard. You're probably just not looking hard enough. Plus, think of all the people you've helped with the film. The big schemes you've exposed. All the health benefits you brought to a generation. I don't know if this means anything to you, but I love the film. I literally cannot stop talking about it with everything, everyone I meet. You're a great filmmaker. You know that, Milo? I worry sometimes that you forget that. You really mean that, Bia? That you like the film? Oh yeah, of course. I loved it. I would bring, <laughs> I would bring up the film every time someone brings up food processing. I scream. The director of You Are What You Eat is actually my best friend. <laughs> Bia, you're amazing. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Chit chat. So how's the cal uh, cal around up going? It's a chore, but this picture is going to be so cool when we put it uh, put it next to the last one I took of the whole gang. Remember that picture you took of one uh, when we first met in the park? Yeah, the one for my advanced composition project. What made you think of that? Just, you know, we're trying to get this picture of everyone to commemorate it's to, to commemorate me being back and all. You really know how to make pictures meaningful, capture moments. It's a gift. I've always admired that about you. Oh, thanks, Milo. Never mind. I'm going to go get some burgers. What? What about icebergs? What? No, I meant... N never mind. Sorry. I guess I'm sort of out of it. <laughs> you must be stressed about the wedding plans or something. Uh, maybe. This is definitely Lars' dirty laundry. Ew. Lars? Oh my god. Lars is here. Which means... <laughs> Looking good, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. No. Oh, there's an upstairs. Ooh, I can go upstairs. Nice. Alright. So, Lars is here. Oh, look at... Here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Ca there we go. There's some people up here at the... At the top of the thing. That's cool. These things seem to be uh, uh, seem to appear all over the place. Yeah, for real, it's pretty pretty weird. It's, it's all cozy over here. Toaster? This toaster smells odd. Did someone burn a taco in here? I don't know. All right. So let me go ahead and go upstairs. See if there's anybody upstairs. It's Jolie and Charlotte. It looks like they got back together. They look so cute together. I don't want to disturb them, but I'll have to, and uh, since I need them for the photo. Oh no, the door is jammed. Hey Jody, Charlotte. I don't think they can hear me. Need to find another way onto the patio. Okay. Climb. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna climb from the freaking thing. Just a bunch of boxes. Yeah, I mean, come on. Stop being a weenie. If the garage is anything like the last time I saw it, it's a terrifying mess of old projects and junk. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just get the ladder going up to the attic, bring it out here, and call them out. A yink. There we go. Perfect. Hey, uh, y'all wanna... Hey guys! Oh, praise this goddess. 
be a your lifesaver. We've been stuck out here forever. Charlotte and I need to talk about, you know, us. We used to come up here to talk things through, but today when we came out, the glass door locked behind us. It got jammed up real good, and we can't get it to budge at all. It turned out fine, though. It's given us time to talk through some things. I'm glad you two are on good terms again. I was looking forward, uh, looking for you two because I was hoping to get a picture of everyone from the old days. That's a great idea. Yeah, let's head down. I wanted to check uh, on Mara, too. Make sure she's okay. Also, I'm getting a little hungry. The food table looked amazing. You're probably just excited to try out the death nectar that I, um, Amane gave us. Oh my god. It's Charlotte. Amane. Anna. Everybody is connected. <laughs> you know me. I get giddy for spicy food. Yep. <laughs> climb that down. <laughs> climb down that ladder. Let's go. It's not a permanent solution, but uh, <laughs> at least, but now at least people will be able to get down for the patio if the door gets jammed again. All right, let's go. Come on. Squack, squack, squack. Come on. Get up. Get up. Hey, what's good? Also, it's a crime. Nah, man, it's not a crime. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Also, people are gonna be in here, aren't they? Yep, people are in here. You. I wonder whose friend he is. That's Kevin. He is odd. Best not to engage. <laughs> Jesus. Taylor and I had a lot of classes together back in the days. So, how's Milo? He seems okay, but I don't know. He always he's always been quiet, but now it's a different somehow. What do you mean? Did something happen? Oh, he hasn't told you. Yeah, has he? Told me what? Basically, there's a reason Milo is in those spirits. That's all I'll say. I feel like you should talk to him directly about it. Anyway, I'm glad you came. You guys were always close. I'm sure you can find a way to cheer him up. Well, I'll do my best, I guess. It would help if I knew what was wrong, though. He will tell you in his own time, I'm sure. He is just, you know, Milo. Now, don't be so down. Enjoy the party. It's a happy occasion. Milo is back. Yay. <laughs> okay, okay. Chit chat though. How's it going? Oh, you know, just going. My life isn't really all that interesting lately. I saw a new book. A, comes a, a cosmic whoopee, a whoopsie. A cosmic whoopsie. Hmm. Oh, James Green. I love his books. I knew I recognized the name of the book. Yeah, I know. You rave about them all the time, so I figured I should start one. It's pretty good so far. A little teenage lovey-dovey for my taste, but a good book is a good book. Uh, do, you, do you mind heading outside? I'm taking a group picture of everyone. Oh, I can't go outside right now. That food table spread looks too delicious. And that's bad? Of course. I'm on this new diet right now. I know myself. I have no self-control. If I can get if I get anywhere near that food table, I'm done for. On a diet? When did that start? We were unpacking Milo's stuff and we found a copy of You Are What You Eat. We had to watch it out of the solid. Yeah. It was so gross I couldn't eat for a whole day. I've been trying to eat healthier since then. You know, cook more meals, eat less red meats, read ingredients on boxes and stuff. Still, it's hard when food is right there in your face, so I'm staying here where it's out of my sight and out of my mind. For sure. Okay. Never mind then. Mi casa es su casa. Palabra. <laughs> Looking good, dear. Yeah. Malo, what's good? Or do you have a copy of your... Oh yeah, there's a copy in my room upstairs on my desk. Why? I was going to show it to Taylor. You know, reduce her appetite. That seems kind of mean. The point is to encourage people to research what they eat, not to get them to stop eating altogether. That's true. It is the only way that you get her to go outside. Well, all right, for sure. All right, and then I'm gonna ask you to please tell me what's going on. He said it was on the desk, found you. You are what you eat. This documentary, Milo started back in college about processed foods. Of all the film gang, Milo was always the best filmmaker. I should go play with, uh, play this on the TV downstairs. All right, play on the TV downstairs and then we'll, we'll talk to Milo about everything. I really hope everything's all good. Oh, it's a casual party playlist Milo made for me senior year. Nice. 
I shouldn't mess with the music unless there's something else I should put on. The movie. Taylor has to see. Oh my god. Okay, well, I put that on. Eh, let's get her to go outside one time. Oh no, you found it. That is so disgusting. Well, you sort of asked for it. Sure, sure. Well, that's the only reminder I need. You won't. <laughs> I won't be eating any food out there. <laughs> you know, it's okay to cheat every once in a while. It's not like you need to lose weight. Oh, I know that. But I'm not worried about my health. It's just the food industry is so messed up, you know? So you're boycotting? Well, I respect your decision. You can still go outside, though, right? Sure, I'll need to uh, some fresh air anyway. Yeah, Jesus. Okay. So I got her outside. Got those two. Okay. Ask about his moping. Hey, um, is everything okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. You've just been down the whole party. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, I've been such a bummer, haven't I? I guess I should let you know. I, uh, Stacy and I. I called off the wedding. I broke it off. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I should have told you sooner. It was just, I was just, I don't know. Anyway, I'm okay. I don't want you to think I'm some dark thundercloud that roams around not appreciating life. I'll be fine, eventually. Thanks for coming. I haven't felt this good since, well, a while. <laughs> I'm glad I could help, Milo. I really am. And that seems nice. I'm happy for you. Yeah, he's really great. Uh, never mind. Just saying hi. Sounds good. Alright. That should be everybody outside then. Let's go ahead and... She just is so trendy. She also looks cold. You look familiar. Yes, we met a couple years ago at the film festival. You helped me with my uh, the lens framework I was stuck on. I'm Jolie's sister, Mara. Oh, that's right. I remember now. I'm Bia. You know, Jodie talks about you all the time. Of course, not as much as she talks about Charlotte nowadays. They're so cute together, don't you think? Certainly, but if I knew she'd be spending all her time with Charlotte, then I wouldn't have bothered to show up to this party. No offense. Um, I'm taken? Okay. <laughs> Lars and Milo are really close before Milo left. Bet he's happy to have Milo back. Hello, Lars. Hey, Bia. You made it. It's good to see you here. I'm making some Primo burgers. Your taste buds are gonna thank me. I'm excited to try one. How have you been, Lars? It's been really good. Jolie hooked me up with a new gig working for her little sister's new startup. The pay isn't amazing since it's startup and all, but at least it's a desk job. I mostly send emails, schedule meetings, make coffee, you know. So you're a secretary. A paid secretary. And now that Milo is back in the game, life couldn't be better. I just wish Milo felt better, you know. I'm making his favorite burger, so maybe that'll help. Yeah, Milo told, told me he called off the wedding. I'll be honest, I've never been a fan of Stacy. She's never been supportive of Milo's film career. She's always been judgmental about Milo spending time with me even back during college. Milo is too good for her. I guess he did only finish his documentary recently. Is that after they broke up, do you think? Oh, maybe. I don't know. It's definitely around the same time. I know he went through a lot of stress. Poor Milo. Yeah. Uh, be a part of the picture, dude. Hey Lars, I'm getting everyone together for a group picture. Neat, sounds like fun. Wait a minute, I don't have my phone. I don't follow. Duh, if everyone's posing for a picture, I want one on my phone too. But I could just send you the picture I take. You said that last time and you snail mailed me a printed photo. What's wrong with that? I can't put a printed photo on social media, B. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> especially not if it's a whole month later. Yo, can you just find my phone, please? I can't leave the grill. Fine. Darn millennials. I'm older than you, Bia. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I gotta find this guy's phone. My phone right now. Her name is Crystal or something? I met her before, but I don't remember where. Jesus. I don't recognize her. Maybe one of Lars's friends? Maybe. I'm glad Matt gets along with the phone game. We've all been really close for a long time. Hey babe, did you catch up with Milo? Yeah, he seems to be in a really rough spot. I wanted to cheer Milo up, so I'm trying to get everyone to get up for a picture. That's not like a good idea. Let me know if I can help. Uh, chit chat. Milo seems nice. I can see why you guys got, got along so well. I'm glad you like him. We've been close since college. Those are the best types of friendships, you know? The bedrock ones that stick with you through your whole life. It's kind of like me and Andy. Only we nerd out over computers while you nerd out over movies. 
well, we also don't stay up until 2 a.m. raiding or whatever it is you guys do with that space game. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> it's awesome that you have a friend like Milo. I'm glad that you finally got a chance to meet him. Or, oh, I'm, I'm glad I finally got a chance to meet him. Can I borrow your phone? Hey, Matt, can I borrow your phone? Sure, man. Here. What do you need it for? Lars lost his phone and won't take the picture until I find it. It was co I was it was I, I was going to use your phone to call his phone. Oh smart. I'll just call Lars' phone now. I don't hear anything. His phone is probably inside. I guess I'll keep calling and walk around and see if I can hear it. For sure. Okay. It's in here somewhere. Oh no, I think I heard it in the laundry basket. Ew. But Lars' phone is in there. I have to go through it if I want this screw photo. The things I do for Milo. <laughs> Got it. I should give this back to Lars, even though it smells like socks. Lars. Please. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. Where was it? The laundry. You should be more careful. You could have gone through the wash. Well, I guess the next time I need a life uh, need life advice, I'll be giving you a knock. But seriously, thank you. I guess I am ready for that group photo. For sure. You, I'll give you your phone back. Awesome. Never mind. Don't worry. Just wanted to check in on you. Ha, <laughs> cool. I'm just chilling. For sure. Can't, I can't get the, docker on <laughs> the documentary out of my head. That was so nasty. Milo should market his documentary as a miracle diet. He'd make a fortune. <laughs> anyway, I'm ready to take the picture whenever you are. For sure. Charlotte wasn't part of the original film gang in school, but she has been hanging out with us for so long. She is basically an honorary member at this point. <laughs> nice. Charlie was in practically all of my classes in college. Glad everyone is enjoying this house. It seems like uh, it seems that all that preparation was worth it. Everyone Everything is going off without a hitch. Without a hitch? You and uh, Charlotte got stuck on the patio. Well, that was good in the end. It let us talk. Plus, it's a great story. Damn, Jody talking to herself. Jody and Jody. <laughs> that too. Our knight in shining armor <laughs> came to save us and scaled the side of our tower. Yep, very memorable. However, I hear our knight, Bia, needs to gather people for a picture to help out our returning damsel we <laughs> we are ready whenever yep thanks again Bia we'd be in big trouble if it weren't for you no problem Charlotte I'm glad I, I'm just glad I can help so how are you how's life it's been good really busy you know I just worked for the tea festival last weekend it's really starting to go into something big that's great you've been doing that for a while right yep, yep. It's my third year. I wasn't there for the first year of the show, but besides that, I did all the rest. My friend Anna and her parents helped organize the show the first couple years and eventually dragged me into helping her out. It's uh, been a blast. That's awesome to hear. I'm glad you are having a good time with it. It's important to savor the moments when you're spending time with your friends. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. For sure. I think that's everybody ready then. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that's everybody ready. Hey, Milo. I got everyone to agree to be in the picture. Really? Wow, I guess I should go, I should go outside then. Thanks for doing this, Bia. I really appreciate it. Anytime, dude. Let's go out there. Have a nice picture. All right, everyone. I think we're ready to take the picture. If I could get Taylor, Jody, Charlotte, Lars, and Milo to stand over there. Wow, this is nostalgic. I'm having college flashbacks already. Remember that time we all went to a food processing plant to help Milo with his project? Oh, that was great. Bia had us all group, uh, had us all grouped together just like this, right in <laughs> in front of a big old cow. Come on, guys, let's get those game faces on. <laughs> Wait, Bia. Wait, Bia is part of this college gang too. Shouldn't she be in the picture? I mean, I could. Here, babe. Let me take the picture. You can be in for one. <laughs> you can be in one for a change. Thank you, Matt. Don't forget to take one with my phone. Yeah, yeah. All right, everyone. Say cheese. That turned out great. 
Aw. Thank you, everyone. It's nice to see everyone together again. I missed you, Mala. I hope you know we're all here to support you if you're still feeling down about Stacy. I miss you too, Bia. You always know how to cheer me up. Thanks for coming to my party, even if I was a downer. And it was great to finally meet Matt. He seems nice. I'm happy for you. Yeah, he's really great. Hey, babe. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just remember that I have a meeting tonight. Do you mind if we head out? Oh, um, yeah, that's fine. It was great meeting you, Milo. It's nice to finally be able to put a name to the face, or face to the name, I mean. <laughs> It was nice meeting you too, Matt. Let's hang out again soon. I know that you're uh, now that you're in town. We need to catch up. Deal. Awesome. You forget something, Bill? No, I. I hope Milo is okay. I'm sure he's fine. That fellow really seems to cheer him up. Yeah, I guess you're right. Ah. I'm guessing that's end of chapter eight. On to chapter 9. Two hours ago. Holy shit, we're getting close, guys. <laughs> Two hours ago. Alright. Yep, chapter 9. Alright, but that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Man, it's, it's great to see Milo and Dia, you know, slowly, over years, really getting, uh, really kind of getting closer together i suspect by the end of this maybe they'll be together maybe they won't be but you know i'm, I'm kind of rooting for it <laughs> uh but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video remember to follow me on twitch hit that subscribe button and that notification bell here on youtube remember to leave a like comment tell me how you're doing today hope you enjoyed the video and yeah can't wait for the next one of these videos till next time guys see you later